Sweet, <laughs> Pizza, yeah. that, that to sort of win it a few times out there, I guess, didn't they? But they got it done in the end. Yeah, um, really hard fought and earned victory. Thought um, first half in particular to go in in the lead with the amount of goal line do we had to do. I thought um, that was a strong performance in the first half there. And obviously we made it a little bit close, but still pretty confident in the way we were playing. And um, really limited opportunities, but we thought we, uh, we looked sharp when we got them. Um, Ultimately, the score was getting closer, but we are still playing pretty well. Um, obviously, Ronnie, Ronnie tonight, like, very good. Braden, very good. They said the two that impressed you most. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, Ronnie's, Ronnie's been delivering most of the year, to be honest, but he's um, just positioning and obviously he's, he's got the, um, the finishing skills and, and what all the, all the highlight stuff, but... The, the little details in and around where he positions himself and carrying out of the backfield, rolling the sleeves up for his teammates. Um, he's been pretty strong all year. And, and Braden and the halves, like obviously, you know, first year of him and Nick actually having a full pre-season and being the first choice. Was that his best performance so far in there, do you think, this year? Uh, yeah, I thought there was, um, again, just the, the combination development, how they complement each other. We wanted to play together as well as take care of... Um, their own roles, and that's getting stronger, I think. But um, it needs to be stronger again. It's still got a long way to go and a lot more development in them. But um, yeah, I feel like he's really um, really owned in the role and going after it, you know. So he's, um, he's been defending really strong for us too. With Renard starting to start the ladder at the moment, is that something that you look to as a mark of pride at the moment or is it a little bit too early? Uh, it's probably a bit early, to be honest. We've got... Um, Good, good run of fixtures coming up, which will challenge us. So we're looking forward to that and finding out. But we, we've sort of just focused on getting better. Like, you know, we're sort of into our third year together now and we've sort of identified um, some areas we need to work on and we're doing that OK at the moment. But there's still just such a long way to go. And one thing I'd be happy about is um, the amount of players we've had to nurse through, uh, players playing injured. And... You know, players missing and still still turning up, getting a job done. So we've got a long way to go, and those boys won't be injured forever either. And just one of the new players out, Kay Alero, he looked great tonight, and he's. I'm interested to know the tactical flexibility that comes from having him play centre, and then the ability to bring Sifra on and play in the middle, play wide, sort of bring that spark plug kind of element. Yeah. So we've been, um, you know, Gal worked real hard on his game last year. He was so close to getting a crack, and then, um, you know, in the end. Uh, Sifa responded by the back end of the year and really like took ownership and he's been our best player for the first three rounds, Sifa. But Kale's ready. Like he's been working so hard and we trust him and believe in him. So I was really confident in putting him in and um, using Sifa as a spare middle or back row because we we're short there. Um, going forward, it's going to have to be week by week, but they'll both be a part of our squad and it is it is a very handy to have Sifa like with the flexibility he's got. So it's something I look at for us, yeah. With Renato, have you noticed anything? Change or anything sort of happen off the field that sort of triggered the, the form that he's in at the moment? Uh, yeah. Probably. Yeah, he's like, like he's just working hard on himself. Uh, emotional stability, he's working on to control it, direct it in the right direction um, for us, not wasted energy. And um, yeah, he's working really hard on himself, Ron, and, and prides himself on Like he loves the club. I think you know, he's been nominated for the. He's won the Ken Stephen medal before for community work. He absolutely like represents our club and loves the club. So, um, you know, he's got that emotional. He can flare a bit, Ronnie, but he's he's trying to control that. You know, back next week, it's you. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. And was it just was it Jack tonight? Was it you know, went down or if I'm yeah, other... just a bad uh, bad cork okay. by the looks of it. So hopefully that doesn't he shouldn't add to your challenges there. Not. Good game, good game tonight for Blake. How important and how great is it to have him in the middle there? Oh, I, yeah, he's, again, on, um, on a development path like we feel like a lot of our players are. He's getting stronger, but um, he, had to, he had to work so hard for us. And, like, he's um, so fast and sharp out of there and dangerous, but... He rolls the sleeves up in defence too, and like, that was a really hard game tonight. I mean, they, were, they were fighting for something there, South, and made a really good contest of it. So um, it's good to see Blake play well under those circumstances, and I thought he really challenged him through the middle there. But um, it was a, it was definitely a hard game. Oh, definitely. When you're 
you get a team like that with you know quality players in it, you'd be a fool to turn up and think because of what's happened in the past weeks that they're just going to fall over in front of you. And like um, Coach said in that first half, the repeat says goal on D we had to do, and they were coming, running hard and rolling the sleeves up, and we had to weather a fair bit there. But um, and I think that's the growth of us as a team, and, and they kept coming in that second half too, and and we had to keep turning up and and rolling our sleeves up, and, and, and we did that, and you know a couple disappointing tries there, but at the same time, can't take anything away from them because they were fighting everything they had for you know their season there. So um, yeah, credit to them for that, but also credit to us for um, doing our jobs to, to get the win.